G'day, uh, it's John from Rimfire Hives. Uh, recently um, I split a tetragonular hawking's eye box that was full here at my daughter's house and it developed into a few problems we, uh, as it went along and I made some wrong assumptions as to what was happening. Uh, so we, we've decided to put out this little video to show you a few mistakes that I made and a few wrong assumptions I made and at the end of this we'll, we'll come back again and we'll talk about the clues that I missed that were, when you think about it now, were quite obvious clues and I should have uh, taken them on board. So okay, we'll put, put it together piece by piece and you, uh, have a look what, uh, what mistakes I made. Good morning, uh, John from uh, Rimfire Hives. Hey, um, about two videos ago I showed you where I'm at my daughter's house and we split a hive of uh, tetragonial hocking's eye and uh, we took the queen ended up in this um, lower section of this one here and this one was queenless so I was wondering how long it would take before uh, the, the virgin queen came out. Uh, well so today we've arrived, it's about a week later I suppose, a bit over a week maybe and you can see what looks like a drone swarm here now working its way up in this um, trellis area and uh, so I say that's what's going on, there's quite a few bees, they're not fighting. So I'd say it's a drone swarm waiting to mate with this virgin queen. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, she'll mate and everything, they're not fighting. So that's the main thing. Uh, okay, well anyway, I just thought I'd show you that uh, it was interesting when we showed up here and to see all these bees in the air. Okay, catch us later. Yeah, earlier on, <laughs> I showed you this, this these oats we separated the other day and uh, earlier on we came around here and there was quite a few bees working up against this trellis here and I said it was a um, um, mating drones come in, a mating swarm but um, I don't think it is unfortunately, I was hopeful of that but now that uh, we're around here and they, they have been a little bit of fighting but not much aggression but we see a little bit of fighting and I don't know whether you can see it, but I've got quite a few bees on my arms and everything. And with the naked eye, these look like an Ostropleblia. So, um, and these are a tetragonial hocking's eye, both these things. So, to me, I've, I'll have to look up. I don't know whether uh, Ostropleblia would attack hocking's eye. I thought the hocking's eye would be much more aggressive. Um, so, um, it's thrown me into a quandary, what to do. Uh, so um, you don't know because no one's got name tags on, but there's down there further, there's two Ostropoblia hives just there. And um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of activity around their entrances. So you don't know whether these bees are coming from these hives or they're coming from somewhere further afield. So uh, as to what to do, <laughs> I'm considering coming back tonight, perhaps shift these two hives to my place and then see what happens tomorrow. And if we've still got the same thing happening tomorrow, I uh, might start consider a trap hive to um, capture these Ostropleblia bees. But just with my eye, and I'm, I'm a bit blind, uh, they look like an Ostropleblia. So um, where they're coming from, I don't know, but um, we'll try that first, I think. Might be the best idea. We'll take these two tonight and um, we'll see if this carries on again tomorrow. And uh, as you can see, there's thousands of bees in the air. Uh, much, yeah, far too many for a mating swarm. Uh, so my earlier hopes have been dashed. Update, we're back at my daughter's place. Uh, last night we removed the two Ostropleblia hives, thinking if these, all these bees that are swarming here, they're all Ostropleblia by the look of them. Um, so we thought they might have been the attacking swarms, but uh, I've shifted them to my place and the hives, the swarms back here again today. So it's obviously, it wasn't them. So there's obviously a, a hive of Ostropleblia somewhere close by and they're attacking these um, Hocking's eye. So I bought a trap hive this morning. Uh, over. I'll just show you. Last time I did it, I was successful, so I've done it again. 
I just I usually just melt some propolis into there and I just and pour some honey in. I did that last time and they went in, so I've done it again this time. So um hopefully they'll stop all this nonsense <laughs> and go into this trap hive. It's such a pity that on camera you can't actually see how many there are, like lots of them. Yeah, the eye. And because we were using that as a visual aid yesterday for them to come into, I think we'll remove that and hopefully they will use it as a visual aid, but come into this one. Just snip that off. And whatever the scissors, here they are. Ah, there's bees landing on it already, so that's a good thing. So if we put this visual aid there, Hopefully, they'll start going into there. Right. Stand back, stand back and watch, and uh, we'll give you a further update. So we'll hopefully we'll get them in the trap hive. Cup of tea time. Cup of tea time. <laughs> you enjoyed all those clips there. As you can see I'm only a mug and uh, I made a few false assumptions all through that. Uh, so it wasn't, a, it wasn't an attacking swarm at all, it wasn't a drone swarm, there was far too many bees. Um, probably and the clues I missed as I said at the beginning, I missed the clue, I've split hives before and then the next oh, day or two later you, you'll end up with like a defensive swarm, they'll come out and you'll have a big ball of bees just hanging around the entrance of the hive. Well, I sort of got a bit lost on this one because they, they, we didn't have the ball and I was expecting a mating swarm um, and the bees just were up in the, the trellis area here. There were thousands of bees up there, but they weren't actually in the ball that I was used to. And the major clue I missed was, they were, as I said in one of the clips, they were fighting, but uh, there was a few deaths, but very little deaths and they just seemed to be wrestling each other and some even appeared to be putting a little sick, sticky substance on each other because they had trouble and they were flicking their wings around trying to clear themselves to fly. So that was probably the major clue I missed. So, uh, uh, so it was a fair hint that they were from the same hive. Once we'd split it, they were the same bees and they were just going for domin dominancy and, and wanted their numbers up in each. And probably another thing I too, I, I think, when I first did it, I probably had them a bit too close together. They were only probably, what, 30, uh, 300 mil to 350 mil apart, whereas now you'd see that's about probably 800 mil apart. So I probably haven't been too close together originally, um, but everything's settling on settling down now. They're right up. Oh, how many weeks would be into it now? Maybe two weeks past the split, and they've already got brood halfway up into this top section of this box here. And of course we can't look at this one because that's the old section on top there. So um, you don't really know what's going on underneath that. Uh, so anyway, I hope you've learned something from my mistakes and, uh, and, uh, and this video has helped you. Righto, catch you next time.